Well, now that the CDC has given the green light to Pfizer, doses of their COVID-19 vaccine can now be administered to kids as young as 12. Tonight, we're speaking with parents and students in East Texas to get their thoughts. Our Shondell Moniz has more. 27% of East Texas is fully vaccinated, including Bryant Jackson. I hate that I got it because I got the Johnson & Johnson the day before they recalled it. He regrets the kind of shot that he got, but says he won't stand in his stepdaughter's way of the vaccine. I will leave it up to her. Just over the mound at this White House softball game, Trina Strange and her 15-year-old daughter, Lainey, are feeling just as uneasy. I don't want to take it. Tell me why. Because it only took them like six months to make, and then they want to pass it out. Uh, I'm not feeling that. Mom wasn't far behind. I'm just don't, I've heard too many people have gotten sick from the vaccination. And so I'm just really concerned about what the side effects could be. It wasn't researched for very long. And so I just, I don't feel comfortable taking it. The FDA has pushed the Pfizer vaccine for use in kids 12 and older. This comes after a clinical trial with 2,200 participants and mostly mild side effects, such as tiredness, headache, chills, and muscle pain. Sophomore at Tyler Legacy High, Gabriel Perez felt left out as he watched older people qualify and go get the shot while he couldn't. At 15 years old, he was just barely too young. I've seen other people get it and I wanted to feel safe without a mask because I want to, I want everything to go back to normal. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that it may be possible to have a vaccine for at least some children in grade school and preschool by the 21-22 school year. We've got you covered East Texas. Shondell Moniz, CBS 19.